Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for September 20th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Funeral Pyre by Bill Murphy. This is a Ren Ban and Between Lines Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, all of them, and 3x3 three three box. Additionally, we have some purple lines in the grid. And along these purple lines, we need a consecutive set of digits, but they can be in any order. So, for example, this could be the set, say, 6, 7, 8, something like this. They don't have to be in any particular order, but they are consecutive. There are no gaps and no repeats. Then we also have between lines, and most of the between lines and the Ren Man's overlap. So, on the between lines, the digits along the line, which in this case are the same digits that were on the Ren Man, are between the two digits in the circles. So, if we had that 7, 6, 8 here, this would have to be at 9, so that 6, 7, 8 are between 4 and 9. And those are the rules, and I apologize if I sound stuffy. I am still stuffy, uh, but we'll do the best we can. All right, we're going to start with these clues. One thing to remember with between lines is if you ever have an 8 or a 2 on the line, that means you have to have a 9 or a 1 in a circle. Otherwise, these digits can't be between what's in the circles. You can never have 1 or 9 on the line. So, for this line, we must have a 9 in one of the circles, and it can't go in this circle, so it has to go here. This is a Ren Man line also, so we need a consecutive set of digits, including 8, that also doesn't include 9, because they have to be between 9 and something. So this must be 6, 7, 8. And then this is going to be smaller than 6. And in this case, we only have two possibilities. We have a 3, 2, 1 looking at that cell. Something similar here. This 2 requires a 1 in one of the circles. We have a 1 here, so 1 goes there. Now we need a consecutive set of digits. So this is going to have to be 2, 3, 4 in that order because of this 3. And then this has to be bigger than 4 and can't be 7, 8, 9, so it is 5 or 6. Okay, back to the circle that we started with. There's a 4 in this circle. Can this be lower than 4? Well, the lowest it could be in this case is 2, but even if it were 1, we would need 3 digits between 1 and 4. And they can't repeat because they're all on the same Ren Band. So that would not work. So these are going to have to be bigger than 4, and this is going to have to be bigger than those. But it can't be 9. So in fact, this has to be 8, and this has to be 5, 6, 7. The 7 is going to be here, and the 6 resolves 5, 6. Down here we have something similar. This can't be bigger than 6 because we wouldn't have enough digits between them. So this is smaller. Smallest it can be is 2, and so that's what it has to be. 3, 4, 5. So that's all of the overlapping clues. And the uh, 4 here is going to resolve that, and the 6 resolves that. So we get our two fives. Okay. These lines are probably pretty restricted at this point. So the only way we can make a set of three consecutive digits here is 2, 3, 4. Uh, we've got some high digits here, so we obviously can't put a 9. 9 has to go with 7, 8, 9. We've also got a 5, so we can't put a 6. Um, 6 wouldn't have anywhere to go. So it has to be the three digits that are between 1 and 5. This has to be the 2 because of that 2. These are not resolved yet. And then I can see we have two 9s looking in this box, and this is going to be a 6. Now this line can't be low, 
because of the 2 and 3 here. So it's going to have to be 6, 7, 8 to go between the 5 and the 9. So even though this is not a between line, it's kind of acting like one. It's kind of acting like a line drawn like this. Um, anyway, we're going to have 6, 7, 8. The 8 has to go here. And now the 6 that we placed is going to resolve 7, 6, like that. Now 1 has to go here, and that places 4 here, which resolves 3 and 4. Now this line, we only have 3 digits, and so the middle digit has to go in the middle of the line, and then 3 and 7 are resolved by these digits. And that is all the clues, so now we are just solving classic Sudoku. We have a 6 and a 4 up there. Alright. These columns only have two digits left. We need a 1 and a 9. The 1 in the bottom row resolves that. And here the 9 in the top is going to resolve that one. Uh, I see two 4s here. 4 has to go there. And the 6 is place 6 here. And this is a totally symmetric puzzle. So everything we do down here is going to have a corresponding deduction up here. So that's nice. Um, Helps us get into the puzzle a little easier. We need an 8 in this box, and there's 8s looking in, so that's an 8. And so, since this puzzle is symmetrical, we know we're going to have something similar down here, and it's a 2. Remaining digits in this box are 1, 6, 7, 8, and 3 of those are right here, so this is a naked single 7. It's the only thing it can be at this point. We have a 1 and an 8 here. So this is our 6, and this is a 1-8 pair. Up here we need 2, 3, 4, and 9, and we have 2, 4, 9 here, so this is a 3. We have 2 and 9 here, so this is a 4. So a 2, 9 pair. Now here we need 1, 3, and 5. That's got to be the 1. The 3 there means this is 5, 3. These are 6 and 7. Actually, that was the last cell in that row, so... Just build in a 7 that way as well. Uh, these are 3 and 4, so we can do those. This is a 5, and these are 7 and 9 with a 7 here. The 9 resolves 9, 2. The 1 here resolves 1, 8. These are 2 and 7. We know the order. These are 3 and 8. Solved by that 3. And now here we have 1, 2, 5, 1 and 2 in the column. Uh, 2 there resolves 1, 2, and to finish off, we need 9, 8, and 5, and that's the solution. So, really neat puzzle by Bill. Um, I like the interaction between between lines and, and Renvan. Um, between lines can be a little hard to make guess, because with longer lines, you can typically have repeats, and you don't know the order of the digits here. Um, you know they have to be outside of these, but this could be the lower digit, this could be higher digit, things like that. So having some givens in the circles, having some restrictions on the lines caused by the Rin band makes this one flow a lot more smoothly than some between lines puzzles that I've solved. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you did in the comments. and. If you are watching this near when I put it out, um, the Katerdoku Pillar stream that Clover and Glipper all are doing may still be going on. Um, I should, probably should have checked before I started to record. Um, they are streaming over on Twitch on the SudokuCon channel. So you might check there to see if they're still going. If they're not, the um, VOD of that will be available at some point on Twitch and YouTube, I believe. Um, but check out the uh, Discord for updates on that. I'm sure we'll post a link at some point. And I will see you next time.